Look at the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade in downtown. Now the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade is happening right this very second. Like we said just a moment ago, if you want to watch this, you can do that on firstcoastnews.com. The mile or the, the route itself is about a mile and a half long. It began along Water Street, continues on to Laura, then makes a turn onto Adams before it concludes at Lee and Bay Streets near the Prime Osborne. So you can of course expect closures along those roadways until around 1 p.m. Now we spoke with an organizer of the parade about why it is so important to be holding this parade every year. Representation matters and so when we talk about the next generation of leaders, when we talk about passing the torch, we have to know what we're inheriting. So it's important that you know your history, that people understand heritage and they know how we, where we've been and how we got to where we are today. Right now, the National Civil Rights Museum is holding a virtual MLK Day celebration. The event kicked off via live stream at noon, so just moments ago. The King Day event will showcase Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s work and the history of how the national holiday came to be and how the museum has celebrated the holiday in years past. The celebration will also feature musical performances and expressions from museum volunteers.